Hi, I'm at the airport. I'll tell you more later. How we got here, if you will. I haven't slept, but I'm here on time. Barely. I made it to Atlanta. I did sleep most of the flight. Hello, your local bombshell Eden reporting for YouTube. Hi, I missed you guys and I got lots of messages so I know you missed me too. I have a slight lisp right now because I got a root canal um, and a crown and the crown is slightly big just slightly so I need to go get it perfected a little bit more I had a temporary the temporary was too big I let them know they're like the permanent will be fine the permanent is not fine it's okay like sometimes when I close I'm like hmm like right now it feels good but then sometimes it feels like it doesn't align anyways so had some dental work so that definitely contributed to me being away and I did slightly foreshadow me possibly being gone for a little bit but I'm on a work trip right now I'm teaching yoga for the conference and then I am one of the um, position gurus again cosplaying as an adult I don't know how that happens how am I a guru out of all the director of sales and marketing in our company <laughs> it's just a little bit fun it's a little bit fun and fresh so um i felt like i was getting so many signs from the universe to come back to youtube one i logged into youtube and youtube posted this little thing that was like your subscribers miss you <laughs> it was just so funny i went to the doctors because um outside of like the dental work that i have had done and that i have to have done i have to have my wisdom teeth removed in may when i get back from colorado side note the AC is blasting. It was very hot in here when I checked in. So, the noise you hear is the room cooling down. Sorry about that. Um, so, I was having a little bit of chest pain from the coughing that I was doing um, when I moved back to Austin. My doctor did an EKG just to confirm that it was just like the same muscular, what did she say? Muscular skeletal intercostal pain. She said it's similar to arthritis but in your intercostal space. And for me, it's a little bit more intensified because I'm hypermobile and those ligaments aren't solid. They're a bit flexible anyway. So I went there and I'm going to the bathroom and someone runs up to me and she's like, I follow you on YouTube at my doctor's office. And I was a little bit awkward because I'd been holding my pee for so long because I came straight from work and then I went into my appointment so I was like, oh, so nice to meet you. We hugged. I went and I was like, I gotta go pee. <laughs> so I went and peed and I was like, introvert Eden uh, entered the chat. So I was like, let me go find her and say hi, like in a normal way <laughs> now that my bladder is empty. So I went to the nurse's station. I was like, I just hugged someone, but I don't know her name. Can you find her? <laughs> so they're like, oh yeah, we know who it is. Her name was Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. You were absolutely lovely. It was great chatting with you. I'm so glad that I got to meet you, and I'll see you anytime I come and see my doctor. And then today, my flight was so I left from Austin, had a layover in Atlanta, the worst airport ever. Everyone I know that goes through Atlanta gets um, delayed. So my plane was delayed for maintenance, and it was supposed to be an hour, ended up almost being two hours, which is great because I want um, to fly a plane that is not broken. So, especially with the whole like Boeing 737 thing, like please give me a Boeing that is working. Um, so I'm sitting there, I went to the bathroom and there was someone at the counter and she kind of looked at me like, hey girl. But I was like, oh, maybe she's, you know, thought I wanted to like upgrade or something. I never assume that like someone is wants to meet me so I went came back from the bathroom and I looked at her again to see if it was like 
us noticing each other type of a thing um, but someone else was walking up to her um, and then when she came to the gate to let the pilots and stuff in and she goes are you on YouTube and I was like yes <laughs> and I believe her name was Elaine Elaine if I got your name wrong I'm sorry because we didn't formally introduce ourselves but I saw your name tag so Elaine that works for Southwest she was so cute these big bold blue um like glasses gorgeous hair beautiful smile so um i've been happening upon so many of you guys in the wild lately like just within like a couple of weeks i was like okay yeah definitely time to come back to youtube so right now i am in tyson's corner which i don't know what that means I know that I'm close to DC like I flew into DCA so Reagan and then we drove through McLean Washington I don't know so I'm in Tyson's corner at the Archer Tyson's corner so I've already kind of unpacked somewhat I haven't unpacked like all of my work stuff but or like the stuff that I'm wearing or my yoga stuff but I've unpacked like my makeup and things and I have like a really jankety tripod set up right here. Um, we have an event at five, so I'm pretty much dressed for the event. It has to be a business cash, so I'm business cash. I do have a friend that lives in the area. I totally forgot that she lived in the area. So I'm gonna reach out to her to see if I can grab a little lunch or mocktail with her she drinks but it would be a mocktail for me um but yeah let me let me show you my room okay first let's look at this really janky tripod that i made oh this is a tissue box um and a stanley that you guys were sitting on top of all of my it's business cash so i brought like comfy shoes we have an event that we have to go walking for so i have some purple tennis shoes new birkenstocks that i got at that sale that one time the boy picked out my toe color um we went to get pedicures yesterday and we went to mexican and then um my crocs that i love and these are the ones that i'm gonna wear to the event tonight they're cute i love them i bought a couple pairs so okay yeah, one sec. Company bought these little swig um, thermoses, which are cute. You can always use another cup. I'm glad I brought a carry-on. Um, some cute little books here, which are Archer's favorite books. Lamp. This is the mirror. This is what I'm wearing. Just some jeans with a black top, and then I'll have on a little bit of a lift. I'm putting on a belt as well, and some jewelry. Let's go into the bathroom wow okay like i said i already unpacked there's me the shower toilet <laughs> and then the big mirror i love this mirror so cute and then sweet as a peach this blossom pink i'm sorry my list this blossoming canopy recalls a time long ago when this land was home to a rural grove bearing blooms and fruits and dreams that's very cute so yeah just simple corner king room for my conference the lighting's bad obviously when i point it you know that way but oh and they do have an espresso machine but since the last time we've met y'all i stopped drinking coffee uh yeah i've been drinking matcha every single day i haven't had coffee one lie <laughs> um one of the housekeepers at my job had a birthday and she wanted tres leches so we went to a bakery and they had conjas and i had a pink conja with one shot of espresso but in the past it's been over a month, I think. I haven't had any coffee. It's all been matcha. Why? We'll get more into that a little bit later. <laughs> Hi, day two. I'm staying on site and I'm still late. I don't know how that happens. Good morning. I'm teaching yoga. We have the vibes vibing. I forgot my camera. <laughs> so we're doing a little cell phone. It should be fun. I had music going, but since I'm using my cell phone, it turned off. It's a really gorgeous space. There's cute little like flower 
lights. I really like it. I can't film my students, obviously, but I'm gonna go finish setting up mats. Those are the lights. I don't know if you can tell. Back in it, baby, just stay in a town. I'm on the edge, I ain't coming down. I get too high, I'm afraid of the ground. I'm young and I pay to play with these sounds. Ignoring the call, she's shutting that gown. Started a top, and I'm taking it down off the champagne. Took a break from the brown on a rampage. I've been giving it brown. Shout even solid some time now. I'm my life for the wine, dying, and I'm with it. Look where we started and look where we at. I can see where we at it, but I can't see me finished. Three years ago, I was down on my last. Was stuck at the crib. I couldn't get out of my bed. Then I realized it's all in my head. And I can't go back to the past, yeah. What's up now? I'm moving. Put all in the music for more like a movement is brewing. I cannot picture us losing. I'm shocked when I shoot it. The world is my tutor. She want to live black in public, but now that I'm published, we settle for safety. Not in the street, but I'm on the same muscle that schedule. Been driving her crazy. They talk like they know me, but know that they bluffing unless it's somebody that pays me. Keep minding your business. The money been printing. My nigga just got to go get it. I'm in the zone through the winter. I'm trying to see Rome, see Venice. I'm at the summit. I'm thumbing my budget, my nigga. It's nothing, just part of my image. I need a minute. I know they live it, admit it. I'm teed up. Little baby, she a teaser. Tell her to follow the leader. I put that weight on my shoulder. So let's run up the check in my DJ. Really not nobody will. If it like I'm in Houston. Almost home. I'm very tired. We partied too, too, too hard last night. So hot. Okay. So I made it back from to Austin from DC slash Tyson's corner. That this whole like Metroplex kind of confuses me, but you know, that area. <laughs> I'm actually gonna run into work today just for a couple of minutes, maybe. I don't know. I have my laptop, I might just do it from home. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, just from waiting from the shuttle. Like I was fine this whole time. I was actually cold. I had like my head covered in the um plane with my my sweater my sweater that i had to put around my waist because it got so hot just being in texas for like two seconds so mm. but i feel like that's why my skin is so supple is from the humidity so i won't complain too much i think i'm gonna go get some lunch hungry did not eat breakfast at the party last night we had like our company sales conference and there was so much food and I was just looking at how much food would have to go it wouldn't go to waste it's gonna go like to the staff at that um, hotel because that's just how it works but um, I was like there's so much food that we did not eat and we just like nibbled because everyone was like dancing and singing and stuff <laughs> so I didn't eat dinner I didn't eat breakfast I did have a matcha in the airport but I didn't like it it was too sweet um, but yeah that's the plan currently. I'm gonna put away um, my window coverings real quick. I just threw them down here. So I gotta fold them up and put them in that little bag over there. I don't know, you can't see the bag. I don't know how to point a camera anymore. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get going. I don't like driving from the airport. It's not my favorite thing. I've flown to the Austin airport probably about 30 times since I've lived in Austin since 2007 I mean I've moved back and forth to other places but roll with me here and I still get lost every single time leaving the airport every single time so I don't know where I'm going and I was like oh is this way is it this way am I in the right lane I'm never in the right lane I have to like murder get over to the right lane I have to go to Costco to get my prescription from my Vivans which is $219 <sighs> because there's a generic available but not really because there's a shortage um it's been back ordered since december so you have to pay for the brand i did i know everyone's gonna tell me their tricks try to like dispute it because it's not actually available i've done it i've done it all blue cross blue shield does not have my back when it comes to this they're like a generic's available so you have to pay the premium for the brand name and i'm like well a generic exists but it's not available it exists my crown is a little too big I have to go get it saw down a little bit because it's giving me a bit of a lisp um I'm like the medication yes it in theory it exists but no pharmacy has it it's not available I cannot get it it's not available so the brand should be covered but they disagree <laughs> so Costco is the cheapest it's 219 because I have to meet my out-of-pocket maximum deductible for it 
before more insurance kicks in so then it'll be like 196 which is still astronomical for like a monthly prescription until the generic becomes available again which is so crazy because historically my vivance was like 30 to 40 dollars depending on the pharmacy because it was covered because there was not a generic in existence but i will have to see myself because a lot of people that have taken the generic of vivance say that it does not work the same and does not feel the same so i may still have to pay the premium for brand at some point so i'm just annoyed with the whole process it's 219 this time until i meet my out of pocket um pharmaceutical max or prescription max whatever it is and then yeah but then hopefully i can get my life back together because i've been struggling my adhd is like out of control and i need the help for sure get the help if you need it all right time to go what was that look i don't know you know i just make faces i do have this cookie from the hotel they left it in my room last night apparently there used to be peach orchards in tyson's corner so this is like a some kind of peach cookie i don't know if i'm gonna eat it or if i'm gonna give it to my sibling or split it with them or give it to my assistant at work i did bring something else for my assistant at work they got us like these little white chocolate white house replicas so i saved that for her and then we had a disco and they gave us these little disco ball cups so i saved that for her as well i brought her the disco ball necklace but i'll take her out to a nice lunch give her a half day um and then i brought her some little gifts so that'll be nice okay now i'm really gonna go i'm at world market look they have maltesers and arrow hot chocolate how fun I'm not a big hot chocolate girl but oh and cadbury and these are real bougie looking love to see it i also have this monin gourmet syrup collection it's violet lavender rose hibiscus and elderflower it's like a little sampler it's only 10 bucks if you drink regular sugar every day in your coffee there's that and then they have like another one too tuna tomato sauce sounds just weird enough for me to like then they have a arviata an olive oh that sounds actually good too they are 30 percent off right now at world market they have a chili crisp too on sale what kind of oil do they use i'm trying not some flour oil to eat um soybean oil obviously because i'm allergic to soy but i'm not allergic to the oil because it doesn't have protein but i still feel like i probably shouldn't eat it so i'm just trying not to hot and spicy olives those look delish Ooh, the reaper salsa that sounds right up my aisle as well we love it spicy in this house i do love the variety of pasta sauces that world market has but i do like slightly think I can't eat tomatoes. I think they're a little bit too high in something. <laughs> I don't know if it's FODMAPs or what, but my tummy hurts really bad. Oh my gosh, though. Look at this yellow tomato sauce. She's stunning. Oh my goodness. Is this like a thing I don't know about? There's like another one. I'm getting one of the Clearly Canadians. These are my boyfriend's favorite drinks, and they just like really zero sugar, so I'm gonna try one now. <laughs> but they have another yellow one. These are all like normal. So I'm okay if I eat this kind typically, I think. The no onions or garlic, so it might just be the onions or garlic, but I do feel like it's kind of tomatoes in general, and it's better if there's no like onions or garlic in it. My other, oh my gosh, I keep having to sit this down. My other favorite aisle, tuna more tuna, some tin fishes. I feel like I've had most of the ones at World Market, not all of them. This, yum. Sardines and oil, looks so good. Then they have some caviar, crab, a few more varieties of tins of fish. I'm here for beans, by the way. Heinz beans because I've been on Brit Talk too much. Malteser biscuits, Twix caramel centers, Milky Way biscuits, 
bounties. I don't know what these are, but they look nice. Maple syrup with sparkles. I, look, a lot of sparkles at the bottom, but come on. So cute. That can be good for you though, right? And then Bridgerton. I don't watch Bridgerton, but my mom does. It's tea. Okay, Gorgina. Isn't that cute? I don't usually drink like drip coffee, but I like that coffee pot. And these black sifters and frothing mugs. Love. Como te llama? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a llama. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, it's world. Is it world market brand? No, it's not. I thought it was at first. Oh, cute! It's Molly. I really like her YouTube videos. Well, I used to like her when she was on Bon Appetit, and then everyone kind of fled Bon Appetit after all of their stuff, like about how they treated their like minority employees, not just black, just like all brown. So everyone kind of fled after that. Claire Savitz, all of them. But Molly's book is here. Tiny. Look how tiny this dry pan is. It's like the size of my palm. So cute. I was really just here for beans and then I ended up not wanting the beans. So now we're just looking. Teensy tiny cast iron as well. I think you could probably just make an egg in here. So cute. The green pan with the gold handles. They have like a three pack of these at Costco a while back as well. So you might want to keep an eye out there for a cheaper one. And then from Crook to Cook, Snoop Dogg's book. Mini dishes must be in. Look how tiny this one is. Like that's a normal small frying pan to me. Like a, what is that? Six inch or something? Oh, that's eight inch. And these are like four? I don't know. They're small though. I like the handle. The coated handle. I'm waiting on a prescription, so I just decided to do a quick shop. I got some avocado oil, um, mango, some bell peppers, which are astronomical in price at the moment. This was on its way out, so I grabbed this. I figured it would be good with some sauteed spinach, some of the Costco organic guacamole, some A2 yogurt, because they don't have the organic, like, non-fat yogurt right now for some reason. Um, chosen foods. Avocado oil, siete, tortillas, some bacon because I have eggs at home. I can do quick breakfast tacos, organic uh, strawberries, hot honey. This one is habanero pepper and scotch bonnet pepper, which sounds great. Some safe catch tuna and some siete chips and then also these organic sweet potato sticks and pulse by. That's it so far. I'll let you know if I grab anything else. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm back from my trip. I did have to work yesterday, so no days off, no sleep, no rest. And one of my sales managers is out of town, so I um, do her leads and stuff while she's out. So yesterday was like busy, but manageable. Busy because I had my stuff to do as well from like three days of being out of town. So it was a lot of catch up on top of like her lead stuff. But it is actually very nice to do her workload on occasion one because it helps me better understand like any, I don't wanna say complaints, but anything that may come up around workload. It helps me better understand and better help when it comes to workflow. And it's just a good reminder to make sure that I stay on top of like things for development as sales managers move to different places and we hire new people just being able to train on those things effectively and then also it just reminds me how great I am at it <laughs> it was so funny because the segment of sales that my sales manager that is out does is what I used to do and I do a totally different segment now I'm I mean obviously I'm a director but I also actively sell as well so um, I kind of like, it's a good reminder and it, it was fun actually. I was like, I really miss selling this segment. I really like this segment a lot. Um, and I think it's because it's very task oriented. So it's like, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. Mine is more <laughs> relationship based versus task oriented. So they're both very important, but both very different. This is so boring. Why am I talking about this? Anyways, um, 
this is my second day back on ADHD medication. Yesterday was good. I had a little bit of trouble sleeping, which is normal. Um, and also, I probably should have started at a lower dosage. Um, I just requested a refill from my doctor that prescribed it before. And I didn't think about asking her to send it in like 10 milligrams less and building back up. So she put it back at my last dosage. Which I actually think is good. Like, I feel good on it. I just think I need to start a wind-down routine a little bit earlier and make sure that I am taking, like, I usually take 5-HTP to drink, to sleep. Taking my 5-HTP around, like, 8, so by 10 I'm ready to sleep instead of taking it at, like, 9, so then at 11 I'm falling asleep, if that makes sense. But, yeah, it feels good. Um, wow, the unnecessary struggle I put myself through by um, trying to be an unmedicated adhd -er. It's dumb. But, also, I understand why some people aren't on it because if your insurance doesn't cover it, like mine doesn't because the generic is out of stock, it's very expensive. And I'm very, like, blessed that I can afford a $219 prescription every month like not everyone can afford that out of pocket and still be okay oh uh, also as you can tell I'm still at my parents house I'm 35 I'm gonna live with my parents for the rest of my life no I'm kidding we just haven't found an apartment that we love and I I'm trying to find the best way to say this <laughs> This is 100% a product of us living in Mexico. Like, after living in Mexico, it puts so much thing, so many things in perspective. Just about, like, being in America, the quality versus price of products offered in America. Um, the price of technology in America. The price of travel in America. And somewhat it somewhat feels like a silent protest like me not finding somewhere like there are plenty of suitable apartments that we found but like for me it's just like the price versus the product isn't doesn't feel worth it and I don't want to settle for one that I don't like <laughs> So we got really close. We had actually, I paid um, the application fee. We're approved. We're supposed to move in March 31st. And it just, like, the location was not what we wanted for the price. It was pretty much the same as living in Austin. It was, like, 10, 15 minutes outside of Austin. It's a city called Round Rock. And I just, like, could not justify it. So I just, like, lost out on that um, application fee and stuff. It's, like, 300 bucks, whatever. Because I just did not think I would ultimately be happy there. And I know eventually we will have to, like, bite the bullet and just do it. And we're managing living apart right now. We lived apart before, so it's, like, not the hugest deal. But it'll probably come soon, but just not right now. Right now, we've both kind of shifted our focus to paying off all of our debt. Um, I accumulated more than I would have liked to during COVID. You know, Nicole was super sick. Um right before COVID I can't I don't even know how many thousands I mean if I were estimating probably eight to ten thousand dollars that I spent on Nicole her last like few months of life for like emergency vet stuff so just like paying that stuff off him paying off any like uh what he has left on student loans and just like starting from a clean slate is not an opportunity that a lot of people get without having to make a lot of sacrifice. I mean, I guess living at home with your parents is a sacrifice, but it's not that bad. <laughs> so just paying off all of our debt and then deciding what we're going to do, whether it be um, looking for a place to buy or making a different kind of investment. We're not, not really sure. There are options, obviously, once you pay off all your debt as to what you want to do. Maybe it's just like, okay, it's a clean slate move to an apartment. It's also um, coming down to area. Like, I work in a, like, very specific area that I'm not really sure that I want to live in. And to experience Austin, I definitely need to be closer to south or downtown. But that makes the commute, like, terrible. It would make the commute ridiculous. And then I feel like I wouldn't like my job quite as much because of the commute. So that's also an issue. So it's just kind of layered. And I'm deciding. 
what I want to do, what's best for me. My siblings actually moving out, which is crazy because all of us were under the same roof for a while. Me, my mom, my dad, my sibling. My siblings moving out with their girlfriend. Oh my God, my baby. They're 22. Their girlfriend's 25. They've never moved away from home before. So this is their first time. I moved out when I was 18. I moved from Colorado to Texas alone when I was 18. Um, so they're 22. This is their first rodeo alone. I'm super proud of them, but like super nervous because life is hard. Sometimes their mental health is a little bit fragile and financial stuff on top of that uh, can be tough for anyone, but especially someone, you know, super young and, you know, just still learning life. In adult years, they're only two years old, you know, because I don't count teen, 18, 19 as an adult. You're still a teenager. Um, so in adult years, they're only two and there's just a lot left to learn. But I feel like when I was 22, I felt like I knew everything as well. So that's fine. But I do feel a little bit sad and a little bit worried about this whole move thing from my baby moving out. All right, it's 7.50. If I leave now, I'll still get to work way before 8.30. I've been trying to go into 8.30. That's my sales manager's time. I usually go into 10 to 6 to miss Austin traffic. Um, but I'm going in a little earlier this week. Today is actually Friday. I said that. Did I say it was Friday? It's Friday. Um, I'm drinking Waterloo. I got this at Sam's Club yesterday. I showed you what I got at Costco. But then I went to Sam's Club because my mom's obsessed with Premier Protein now. She drinks it like every day. So I got her a case of something. And then I got paper plates because we all use paper plates. There's Green Goddess seasoning, some sour cream. And then the Waterloo flavors they had was like watermelon tropical fruits and blackberry lemonade so i mix the watermelon and the tropical fruit waterloo oh i actually have them in my purse but i'm probably taking them out right now with my lunch and stuff but yeah i feel very accomplished this morning i couldn't sleep super well so i took my medicine uh lounged around for like an hour then i got up I cleaned the entire kitchen, put away my Nespresso machine, cleaned all the dishes, made the dogs lick mats, <laughs> made myself breakfast, got myself ready, made myself lunch, all before 8 o'clock. That's so crazy. It feels so foreign to me, but I am noticing one symptom from my ADHD medication so far, which is dry mouth, which is something that I don't miss because then I get like white tongue, you know? <laughs> I have about 20 days until my Colorado trip. I'm going for my best friend Brittany that you guys saw in Cancun. I don't know if I said this already. Um, she's graduating with her associates and then she's she's in nursing school so she's doing her associates and then she goes into like the actual she's in the nursing program at uccs at Colorado, in colorado springs which is where we grew up together and then she goes into the nursing program like i don't know like the rest of it i guess like the first two years just your basics i don't know what their nursing program is structured like so she graduates on may 10th so i'll be in colorado um I get in on the 8th and then we'll probably sleep all that day because we're driving down a 16 hour drive and then the 9th um, I'll see a couple of my old friends that still live there um, the 10th is her graduation the 11th is um, she wants to go to Denver to the Black Girl History Museum sounds cool um, I never heard of it but um, we'll do that and then I'll also see my cousin on that day because my cousin lives in Aurora which is like right outside of Colorado Springs I mean right outside of Denver so um, we'll probably have dinner or something with uh, go to the Black Girl History Museum have brunch um, go hang out with his fam have dinner and then Sunday we leave and drive back so ooh, we're gonna be tired but It'll be okay. We check out at noon, so we'll probably go ahead and sleep in, check out, and then drive back. I had wanted to leave earlier on Sunday so that I could be back to work on Monday, but I just don't think that's going to happen because I was mostly expecting to hang out on Friday. I didn't think we'd be doing a full day in Denver on Saturday, so that's 
I'll have to pay an, take an extra day of PTO. But I went back to my old company when I came back here. So I did negotiate an extra week of vacation, which is nice. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get driving, keep drinking on my sparkling water, and then I'll get a real, like, regular water when I get to work. I have drank a thing of water, like a Stanley of water this morning, too. Again, so accomplished, oh my goodness. But yeah, this is actually, like, one of my bath net things. I couldn't find any of my edge things. I'm currently in the process of, like, refreshing my Bellicon. I'll show you guys when it's done. Um, as you can see here, there's a hole because my sibling's girlfriend burnt a hole in it. Not on purpose, obviously. Still not happy about it though, because these parts are uh, not cheap. So it's been outside for a while. I usually jump on it when I'm um, letting the dogs out, just for like a few minutes a day for like lymphatic drainage, more so than like a workout like I had been doing previously. But I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. I did go ahead and upgrade my mat to like the pro or comfort mat. And then I got like some neutral colored bungees as well. So I'm going to do that probably tonight or tomorrow. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Ugh. And it's crazy because I just got this mat not that long ago. It's like the newer one with the new Bellicom logo and everything. So like it's... I just got it less than probably, I don't know, maybe nine months, but these last a very long time. So yeah, hole right there, burn. Blessed be, um, good morning. I'm drinking a water. I forgot my Stanley at home cause I was just running to Dollar General to get these like flavor packet things. Um, hold on. Mm. I feel like my mouth is too dry to talk. Um, and then I was like, oh, well, it's early. I might as well run to HB and, wow, my camera shifted. Might as well run to HB and get um, a couple things I needed. I needed some milk, some butter, a potato, and like a dish scrubber thing. So I ran to HB. And one thing that I consistently buy from local farms is eggs. I look at the eggs, like every once in a while in a bind, I'll grab store-bought eggs. But like, I was looking at them today and I was like, oh, well if they have Vital Farms, I'll grab that. They did not have Vital Farms um, or any of the brands that I usually would like grab if I'm at Sprouts and I don't feel like going all the way to Wheatsville or something. So, I also don't feel like going to Wheatsville because it's like way practically downtown, it's on campus. So I'm going to go to this place called Sanford's. I've actually been there before. I think I've taken you guys there before. It's called Sanford's Bakery. And they do like fresh bread. And they also have a few like little local things like Milking. Um, it's a brand here. It might be outside of Austin. I'm not really sure. But it's um, a local milk company. And they also have Chartel Creek Eggs. So I'm going to go there, grab eggs, and probably a loaf of sourdough they have like quite a different quite a few different types of sourdough they have oh and they make sandwiches too isn't that cool they have ham and cheese pastries as well brioche buns what I want is the sourdough focaccia. They have individual sizes of them. So I think I'm going to get two of them because I do have some ground beef in the fridge and make some like focaccia burgers. Um, and they have sourdough cinnamon rolls. That's cool too, but I'm not going to get one of those. But I am going to get the focaccia and... I wish I could get half a loaf of bread because we never go through it. I know that you can freeze it. And my mom does quite like sourdough as well, so she'll eat some. They have classic Barton Springs Mill, which I don't know what that means. Barton Springs is a place here in Austin, but I don't know what that mill specifically means. Um, a sourdough rye, um, a rosemary parmesan sourdough, and then they just have some regular like sandwich breads, like a white bread, brown bread, marble rye. Yeah, so focaccia and eggs is what I plan on grabbing. Sometimes they have, 
if I remember correctly. Yes, sourdough croissants. That's also something that I think I'll probably grab a couple of to have for breakfast. So that's my plan. Focaccia, the sourdough, and then my local egg. So that's the milking brand. It's a localish brand. They sell it at Wheatsville and then the Shirtel Creek eggs. That's what I'm really going for. So yeah, let's do it. It's, I thought it was in Round Rock, but actually I think it might be Cedar Park. But either way, it takes way less time to get there than to downtown. So, oh, I got this little um, case thing. It's very simple, obviously, on TikTok shop. It's just black with like little embossed black hearts. Um, I just got it to get free shipping because I got this face thing. I'll show you it tonight when I use it that I was influenced to buy. So, um, to get free shipping, you have to spend 25 So I got that, these face cloths, this, and like an economy size pack of hair ties because we all know for some reason hair ties just go missing. So there's like a billion of them. So that's perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'll show you what I got. So this is what I went to Dollar General for. It's the, <laughs> they call it the TikTok Trends inspired water. So this one is uh, one of the variety packs and it has lime. I can't see from here, so you guys can probably read it better than me, but from memory, I think it's lime, coconut, banana, and something else, mango. And then they had one of these ones, which was, I don't think I'll like these very much, um, but I thought I would like the peach. So peach rings, unicorn, mermaid, cotton candy. Ooh, I don't know. And then I really like the Margaritaville ones. I love the Pina Colada one, but I think it might have real pineapple in it because it does make my throat hurt a little bit. As we know, I'm allergic to pineapple, but also a rebel. Um, this is the strawberry daiquiri, and that looks good. And then the last one I got was just a sun kiss peach. She said that these were all the summer flavors. They were all on the summer display at Dollar General. So I picked those up and then I already told you guys what I got at the store. Did I get anything else? No, I didn't. Okay, see ya um, when we get to the bakery. This is the place. It's like on the cusp of Round Rock and Cedar Park. As we can see, Cedar Rock <laughs> Dental. Um, there's a bunch of kids that work in there, so I didn't want to film, you know, obviously. So I got two pieces, ooh, focus, of um, focaccia. They freeze pretty well until I want to make my burgers. I'll probably make them this weekend so I won't need to. And then two croissants, one for me and one for my mom. Then of course my Chertel Creek eggs because I love them. They're the best. And I did get other stuff at H-E-B. I forgot that I got some frozen fruit. So there's some frozen fruit down there as well. But there's a place right next door called Alamo Coffee. So I'm going to run over there and get a matcha. Here it is, Do you find Alamo it Coffee. So I wonder if it's, it's owned by the Alamo Draft House. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna grab a matcha. <laughs> Hi, can I get um, a medium iced strawberry matcha? A medium iced strawberry matcha? Uh-huh. All right. Anything else for you today? No, that's all. All right, I will see you at the window. Perfect, thank you. I warmed up my sourdough croissant and I have two eggs going and some bacon. It's gonna be a great breakfast. Look how those super orange yolks just beautiful. Let's see if I did a good job. Okay, decent job. Oh, yeah, pretty good. I was gonna say they're slightly overcooked, but. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do my Bellicon refresh. Um, just new springs, new mat. You don't need to replace the mat that often. Um, so I'm just doing it because mine was damaged. But I'm gonna do all tan green clips this time around. I've shown myself doing this probably a billion times. So I'm not gonna show myself today, but I'll show you when it's done. Rebounder refresh ready. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm like most of the way done. There's just these little clips obviously I said I was going to show you this but I'm not like filming the whole thing you just clip it here it's not even really a clip it just kind of slides in and then do this and then we're going to lay the frame on top of it when we're done and then you just like loop it over the frame so it's very easy it's just a little bit tedious 
and as you go around <laughs> obviously it's um the you're stretching these out so the resistance becomes stronger so it does take a good amount of strength you could probably use something like um a little allen wrench or something for leverage to kind of pull if you don't have like a lot of hand and upper body strength so yeah i have just a few more to go so i've laid the um i got yellow toenail polish um i <laughs> laid the frame on top and we're just going to pull this over and loop it into here so what you need to do is go in like a t direction so one on this side go on the opposite equal side same here same here and then just do that all the way around um so that there's equal tension because if you try to do it all on one side you won't be able to stretch them far enough on this side and then you'll have to unhook all of those that you worked hard on and do the opposite side i learned this from years of having backyard trampolines and it works the same for a bellicon all right it's all done i think it looks really good yeah i think next time I might go back to my rainbow bungees, but for now, I like this very clean look. You might think this is a cute little girl that's named after me, Eden. She's not. She just um, unalived two rabbits this week, baby ones. Yeah, this one, she's old, so she, don't, she doesn't really try. Nicole did when she was alive. She would try to get rabbits and mice she did get mice <laughs> frogs this is what they're searching for now hey cut it out yeah chill out go potty bad little things i'm gonna make my matcha and then i'm going to edit this video so i made the strawberry puree yesterday i just blended them and then boiled it with some maple and some honey let it thicken up a little bit and then double strained it to get out most of the seeds. So I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom of the glass and then ice, milk, and then matcha. So I just put some strawberry puree at the bottom, got some ice. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to spill this. Oh no. Okay, we're going to chance it all. All right, we didn't spill. Oh my gosh, wow, so proud of us. All right, about that much milk. This is the Fair Life 2%. And then I already whisked up my matcha. I used the one from Matcha Bar. It's the one that's most accessible, honestly. I don't know that it's the best. But pour that on top. Just with a little bit of hottish warm water. And I use my frother because I'm not authentic. <laughs> and then there you go. Nice strawberry matcha. Isn't she beautiful? maybe great okay my dad left his tortillas over here so i'm gonna drink this and edit the video i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i will try to pop in at least once i can commit to once a month right now and then we'll see about back to weekly twice a month i don't know once a month i love you guys get out there and love life message me on instagram if you miss me and i will talk to you guys very soon